What is up people YouTube, it is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you could call me Vinny, and today we're gonna take a look at the SH Figurts Nappa. Nappa first appeared in Dragon Ball Z in the Saiyan Saga. He used to be a Saiyan commander? I forgot, and I feel too lazy to fact check myself. Later, he was killed by Vegeta simply because he was useless and crippled by Goku. And that's pretty much it. His version was revealed during Tamashii Nations 2016. After so many years, we finally have a Nappa. Is this figure worth the $75 price? Well, you know the drill, let's take a closer look. Nappa looks great, and this time, he actually has paint shading! Taking a closer look at the face, it looks great, looks like him from the anime. However, the eyes do look a bit fuzzy, I'm not sure how to describe it, it just looks fuzzy. And the head is a tiny bit too shiny. It's not nearly as bad as people let it on to be though, it's only a minor issue. The Saiyan armor is awesome, however my armor does have this spot, which I think is a torn layer of sealant or plastic. That seriously sucks. The shoulder pads are pretty cool, nothing wrong with them, can't point anything out. The muscles on the arms are awesome, excellent sculpt here, I love the muscle definition, and in the muscles, there's shading, and it looks fantastic. The wrists are great looking too, everything on them is pretty cool, except, yeah, paint chips. The tail is okay, but again, does look a bit plain like the Scouter Vegeta. Again, black shading or wash would have helped. The kilt is just fine, paint is clean, and sculpt is pretty cool. The legs again have the awesome muscle definition, and there's paint shading in the skin again. The boots on them are great looking, awesome sculpt, and again, paint job is pretty clean. Now for sculpt and paint are great, it definitely wins in both departments. Nappa's articulation is really good, though one part has a really dumb limitation that I don't understand. So uh, let's go over it, shall we? Head is on, oh get this, get this. It's a double ball peg. It's a double ball peg. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 the ball hinge were kind of be start starting to become in ineffective. Uh, I mean, when they work, they work. But at the same time, uh, 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 great. Now no, no, I popped it off. Uh, he, he doesn't want to go back on. But still, now that he he's on a double ball peg. That means uh, you get some some really good, uh, nice ranger with with Nappa. Not bad. The neck itself is also on the ball joint, so. Yeah, you get even more range. That's I'm really happy about that. Shoulder pads on a hinge. Sorry, they didn't block the arm articulation, but yeah, that's as far as Nappa's arms can go out. What I there's a ball joint in the body that connects to a, another socket in the ball joint on the arm, but because of the sculpt here, that doesn't allow the arm to to go up e uh, higher, like he's just a little bit less than 90 degrees. So, you're gonna ha 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 have to kinda, kinda, kinda play tricks with it a, a little bit if you want to make, want, want it to look that way, but still, it's like, it's rather odd. It's very questionable, I don't know why, maybe this is a older figure in, in the works and they only just released him now, but it's really, I'm sorry, I, 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 I'm not a really a big fan of this shoulder articulation. I mean, it can swivel well, it has nice movement, like, all around, but shoulder articulation? Uh, going up? Not nah, fam. Biceps can swivel. Double hinged uh, elbows, you get uh, more than 90 degrees for a bulky guy like Nappa, that's pretty good. Hands are on ball hinges, but they're pretty big, so you get more range than usual. Not bad, I like that a lot. We have a ab crunch, uh, not ab crunch, like, top part of the waist is on the ball joint. On mine, it's pretty stiff. Actually, not anymore. I, th I think I, I moved him around enough to where I loosened him up. But but, but still, he, he, he yes, it's a pretty good, good range here. He can move side to side, but it's really a pain in the ass for, for me. Maybe, maybe not for you. But for me, he just does not like to to to, to move side to side. For the back, it's not really much of an issue. Uh, the waist down here is on a swivel. 
Actually, I lied. It is not a ball joint, but it's mostly a swivel. So, you're not going to get too much range out of that. Yeah. These things are on hinges. That way, they didn't block the leg articulation. But do be careful. There have been reports of these breaking. So, yeah. And now, we go back to the classics. Because the legs have the typical, well, not typical, the classic pull-down style figure arts hinge. So, uh, yeah, if old school fans missed it, well, there you go. Y you have it. In for Napa. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is further proof that this could have been an older figure in the works, but we'll never know for sure. Going off to the side, for Napa, that's, uh, that's actually pretty good. The eyes can swivel. They can kick forward about this much. They go on a bit of an angle, so that kind of sucks, but it's not, it's not terrible. And he can kick back uh, about this much. So, it's pretty good. Knees are double hinged. Really like that range. For, for, for being s s such a, a bulky dude, that's pretty good. Well, I mean, he's not as bulky as, like, Broly, but still. It, it, I, I give credit where credit's due. Toes on a hinge. I said that first because... Uh, ankle... Oh, 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 oh my god, uh, uh, the, this is so awesome. Ah, oh, yeah, this feels, uh, and this feels excellent. You could get Na Nappa into some crazy kick-ass poses without ha having to suffer uh, ankle articulation problems. Because previous figures just always had them on, on double paw pegs, and that did not w work so well. But he here, it's uh, here they use different joints, and it is not an issue at all. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Uh, this is this is excellent. I love this so this, uh, so uh, uh, so much. You can get Nappa into some pretty awesome poses uh, thanks to this ankle articulation. Oh yeah, that feels so good. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but still, yeah, um, I do, I do apologize, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, uh, articulation for Nappa is really good, shoulder joints are the only issue though, and you get, and you gotta, gotta be careful with these, and these, because you know, they're on hinges, they're pretty small hinges, so they will definitely break easily, so yeah, just be careful with that, and just have fun with Nappa, because I, I think Nappa is actually one of the, one of the better articulated Dragon Ball Z figures. So, you will definitely have a, a, a fun time with, with this guy. He, he gets my thumbs up. Nappa is just shy from 7 inches, just about. Decent size, but Nappa should have been a bit bigger. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Goku and Krillin. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Android 17 and 18. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Frieza and Beerus. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Piccolo and Cell. And finally, here he is with the SH Figure Arts Vegeta and Broly. As you can see, Nappa should have been a bit bigger compared to everyone else. Definitely not Broly big, but should have been a bit bigger than Vegeta. Nappa comes with a few things, but I wish he came with a tiny bit more. First, his heads. First is the smirking head. Well, not smirking, but smiling. You get the idea. Next is the same head with the scouter. Unfortunately, there's no extra scouter with the data readings. So that's a bit disappointing. Next is this yelling screaming head. And another screaming head, only this time it's looking not to the side. Would have preferred maybe a few more heads, but I guess these are pretty cool. Next are the hands. He comes with two fist hands that were on him in the package. Two martial arts fighting stance hands. Two karate chop like hands. And he comes with this uh, one hand for the right side to recreate a iconic scene. I forgot where it was. Next is his act 4 base and arm for his effect. And this effect piece is a piece of crap. Cool sculpt, but the paint job looks terrible. Not a good choice of colors. It pegs on an angle on the Act 4 arm. And you make it look like an Nappa tossed it out of his hands. Pretty cool. So accessories are good for Nappa, but it would have been cool to maybe get some more significant effects, like the mouth cannon. But they're still pretty cool. Except the effect piece it comes with. I'm sorry, th those colors, they do not look good on, on it at all. They suck. So... Buy, don't buy, or wait for a sale. Nappa is a solid figure, but the slight lack of accessories and the size and the price may shy some collectors away. Since we all know Nappa should have been bigger, and had some more attacks that we could have gotten as accessories. And it's $75.
Broly, which was an older and bigger figure, was $65. There is no excuse as to why Nappa is priced this high. That's a lot of BS and is definite proof that Bandai and Tamashi are overpricing their products on purpose. Don't get me wrong, this is still a good figure. If you want this figure and are a fan of Nappa, I'd say grab it if you don't mind the price. If you do mind the price, wait for a sale. I'll give this figure an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys and gals, if you like this video, leave a like, if you want to share your thoughts, comment down below. And if you like this video and want to see others, you can subscribe. And if you like behind the scenes or toy photography, you can follow me on Instagram, link to it is in the description below. With that being said, I am Super Mario Zilla, and I am out. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.